Egun Leshy presents The Pigeon Palace, Volume 2. If you've ever visited a dairy farm, you'll know pigeons are a huge problem. They cost farmers hundreds of thousands of dollars in feed and spread disease and cause additional property damage. The scope of this problem, however, most just don't understand. So in this series, we're going to show just that and how perfect the Egg Unleshy 2 is suited as a tool for the fight against this massive pigeon population congregating at dairy farms. So welcome back to the Pigeon Palace, a western Arizona dairy farm home to an estimated 20,000 plus pigeons. We filmed this series in a single visit to this farm. Uh, it was just an absolute insane day. Uh, we had two Leshy 2s and four guys running. Uh, so we broke off into twos, one monitoring the footage with the Tacticam streaming through the phone and the other on the trigger. This was a little over 100 yards with the 30 cal, uh, 50 grainer. So the Dazal Stalker is a fixed 6 x optic with an incredible glass. This is the second gun that we are running. It's a 25 cal, 350 millimeter barrel, uh, shooting 34 grain JSPs. The Delta Striker HD 4.5 by 30 is another great optic, uh, definitely in the tier 1 category. The reticle has just enough amount of reference points uh, for precision shooting out in the wind like we're doing here. I misjudged the wind a little bit on this one and watch as this flies just over its head. It blew off just before I could send another one. We weren't allowed to shoot inside these buildings, but uh, I did sneak in to show how many pigeons we're talking about and the scope of this problem for this farmer. With pigeons, I like to aim for the neck. So if you're a little high, cool, headshot. If you're a little low, right in the bread basket. And if you hit dead on, it's just a broken neck. Uh, they fly off sometimes, but they drop pretty quickly. This one, it just anchored. 20,000 pigeons on this farm. And one of the other guys with us picks the same one I'm about to take. Watch as I drop it here, and then a second shot come right over the top from the left. All good fun though. Yeah, it wouldn't be a good hunting trip without stories like that to bust your buddy's balls about. Plus, you can blame shots like this one on them. Yeah, we didn't have time to range it. Uh, and my depth perception was off maybe 20 yards or so. Uh, this one lived another day. With the ones on the ground, you gotta be careful uh, and really kind of wait for them to walk out uh, to a space clear of any cows in the background. My buddy John doesn't miss all the time, but his patience level for adjusting parallax before pulling the trigger is pretty much zero.
He absolutely anchored that one, though. Fuzzy footage and all. This next guy we got super lucky on. It was crazy close, and I just hit high. Uh, you can hear it hit the pole and then anchor him. Better to be lucky than good. All right, quick indoor range and giveaway update. Uh, we had a huge storm roll through when I was editing uh, this video, and then it just got balls cold. So perfect time to work on the indoor range and prototype bell target. Uh, I'll play a quick game uh, in a second just to show you how it goes, but uh, I got tons of comments and DMs about where to buy one. So uh, I spent some time and found someone to uh, manufacture them here, small, um, a small shop in uh, Southern California. So I'll throw a link in the description on where you can actually pre-order them. Uh, the game, man, is a ton of fun. All you need is about seven yards for the official quote-unquote rules, but I got mine at 10. Uh, basement, garage, whatever. Uh, even stretch it out further if you're going to shoot with an optic. Uh, it's a great indoor game uh, and definitely will test your skills. You need to paint the front white so that you can see the marks uh, from the, each shot. Uh, you paint it maybe every few games, uh, which is a pain for me just because I had to crawl uh, down this crawl space. But it takes just a few seconds, so no big deal. The bullseye is about the size of a pencil, uh, so you need it to be really well lit. Uh, mine's going, obviously, in this dark crawl space, so light is key. Uh, I also wanted a box around it to collect the lead. Uh, minus the LED lights, I shot my garage for everything to build this. So mine is more, uh, we'll call it farmhouse style bushcraft uh, than some perfect lines kind of deal. Everyone's needs are going to be a little bit different uh, with the box. So I've seen ones that even have that are much more contained uh, so that the lead doesn't go everywhere. But here's what mine ended up like. I left room to put a second one right on top, thinking less trips down the crawl space. This is a great addition to the range, uh, but one thing I'm 100% adding is a retractable target system. Uh, a bunch of you guys had this idea in the comments of the last video, so if you got any ideas on a DIY setup, let me know in the comments of this video. Uh, with that in place, let me show you a quick game, and then we'll get back to the pigeon feathers flying. I'm using a 10 meter target rifle from Air Arms called the T200 and 177. It's actually perfect for this. Uh, and I'm going to be giving away uh, this gun along with Pyramid Air this month. Uh, more on that in just a second. Uh, the rules of bell target are pretty simple. Ring the bell, you get five points. Four points for inside the first circle, then three, two, etc. There's plenty of room for some house rules too. Like if you get outside of three, you probably need to chug a beer. That first shot I pulled and scored a three. No bueno but I make up for it here in a sec. The game is a ton of fun and without a doubt will help you develop those offhand skills you might need for a quick follow up on a critter once you get back outdoors. As a reminder, I partnered with Pyramid Air on building out my indoor range and giving away this Air Arms T200 rifle. Uh, check the link near the top of the description. It's simple to enter, and the winner is going to be announced at the end of February. So don't wait too long to get yourself entered. Now, let's get back to the warm Arizona dairy farm and put those offhand skills to work. So back to the farm we go. I know I keep saying it, but it is crazy how many pigeons there are here. It's really creepy, to be honest with you. Uh, time to knock back to population a few, though. Let's start with this guy. Here's another one on the ground. These pigeons are crazy tough. And I had to give this one the old Leshy 2 double tap as a follow up. This one was a no doubter. Look at a pass through on this one. I 
smoke that one and that cow turd behind it. Here's one more on the ground before we turn our attention to up on the roofs. Here's one of those neck shots I was talking about. They fly off about 15 feet and then it's just anchored straight down. About separated the head from the body on this one, but still managed to fly about 10 feet away. It's crazy tough birds. We're going to end volume two with that one, but don't worry though. If you're enjoying the uh, pigeon palace and break from my backyard, there's hundreds more of shots coming from this farm soon. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.